Shops in downtown Kampala remained closed today. The peaceful protest is a show of discontent towards their Chinese and Indian counterparts who they claim receive unfair privileges from government, which ultimately cost businesses of the locals here. Local traders carried placards with messages calling for fair treatment. They come to Uganda as investors that they have factories in Kenya. They don't pay taxes that we are in East African community. For them, they only pay VAT of 2.7. The some of the foreign traders could be seen peeping from some buildings. Kampala Central Member of Parliament, Muhammad Nsereko, who had come to speak to traders, was whisked away by police. Later in the day, some councillors who were briefly detained later met with Minister Nachuala Chinji and Kampala Metropolitan Commander Frank Mwesigwa to voice their concerns. Chinji is on a committee constituted by President Yoram Museveni to look into the traders' rules. The committee is chaired by Trade Minister Amelia Chambade. <laughs> The traders later asked her to address a gathering in Nakasero market. And yet many were still not convinced about the minister's pleas. The strike is to last three days. It's not clear yet whether the traders will reopen their shops tomorrow. This is not the first time traders have expressed displeasure about their working conditions. Only recently, traders in downtown Kampala protested over the hiking of rent. Shudan Wuchri, NTV.